What is up, everybody? It is Wick here, and I'm about to go to Goodwill, of course, uh, from Salvation Army, all those places, uh, but going to the post office as well. Got a bunch of sales. That's good. I uh, sold a bunch of, uh, what would you call them, the, the, Chris, the Halloween lights that you put in the ground, and they put, like, projections all over, projection lights for Halloween, I guess. Got a bunch of those last season for on clearance, and I sent a bunch into FBA, like 30 of them, and uh, they sold really quick, and um, I still had 12, and I don't have time to get them in before Halloween, so I just uh, did Amazon Merchant Fulfilled, and all the, tw the 12 sold overnight really quick, so I don't do um, Merchant Fulfilled too often, but in situations like that, Merchant Fulfilled is great when you don't have time to get it in FBA, because you send this stuff in, and then they do processing, and they send it to all these other fulfillment centers, and it can get stuck for two weeks and wherever. So I um, didn't want to take that chance, just wanted to move them. Then a bunch of eBay sells as well. So I'm going to get these back to the post office and go find some more stuff to sell. I am in Goodwill, digging around. Here's one of those beer tenders uh, that used to sell for a lot more than they do now. And it's just something I don't want to sell unless I test it. And at 20 bucks, it's just, I'm not going to mess with it. There's a little bit of money to be made. I think they sell for around 40 or $50. Uh, I don't know if it's complete. I don't know what it needs. So um, it's funny because not long ago they had a beer tender there in a box and they wanted $250 for it. Um, but there's one for $20. Uh, there's a record player with a green uh, wig on top. Um, missing the needle and not really um, in great condition. But for $3.99 it wasn't a bad price if it was in good condition. Uh, definitely not a high-end model. Didn't even bother looking it up. Just kind of glancing at it here. Uh, but I did find some stuff in this Goodwill, so let me show you what I did get. Out of Goodwill, and I picked up some stuff. Uh, <laughs> I picked up this thing. I don't even really know what it is, to be honest. I think it goes to a water heater or something like that. Maybe a furnace, something like that. I don't know. But it was at only $1.99. It looks like it's unused. I can't tell where it's, it's been used. And it looks like these things, new, selling for about 60 bucks. this model. So, uh, I don't know, I'll have to sell it as untested because obviously I don't have a, an easy way to test this. And it looked like untested ones were selling for about 30, 35 bucks. So that's what I'll price it at. Probably hopefully make a $20 bill in the end. I also picked up a bunch of records. I really don't pick up records, vinyl, anything like that. I don't know a whole lot about it. I know that some of it's good, some of it's, most of it's not that great. But somebody had just donated these, apparently. I don't think any pickers have gone through them. So I grabbed, I think it was 12 of them. Mostly classic rock. I'll go through these when I get home. I don't want to do it in the car, just be too weird. I'll show you what I got. Um, kind of get an idea of how much value it has. But even if they don't have that much value, I didn't look up a lot of them. Uh, I'm happy to just kind of keep them myself because I, I kind of like to have a cool record collection. Well, I just got out of Salvation Army and I bought a pallet. Um, so I'm going to have to go come, come back and pick it up later, get it in the garage. I don't think I'm going to mess with it today. I'm way too busy to be buying this, but it's really tempting because I seen vintage Legos on it. Now these things are wrapped, so I can't really, um, you know, go through them, but I seen uh, vintage Legos. Who knows if they're actually in there? And I seen a box that said Longaburger. So it looks like it's higher quality stuff. Um, so it looks really interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that and, uh, we'll do an unboxing on that. So look for that in a future video, or it may even come out before this video. Who knows? It'll be on the channel regardless of me unboxing it. Got out of this Goodwill and that's probably going to be it for today for Goodwills, but I'll continue the vlog, uh, tomorrow. I gotta go pick up that Salvation Army palette. Uh, but I picked up this Super Soaker, Nerf Super Soaker Thunderstorm. Got a little bit of damage. It's got two pieces of tape on the side, which look like to be the factory tape. So I think it's new. I'm going to sell it on eBay, and it looks like you can get anywhere between $25 and $45 for it. Um, on Amazon New, it's actually $79, but restricted in Nerf stuff, uh, brand restriction, so I can't sell it on there. Couldn't sell it new anyway because of the box damage, and I'm just not 100% confident it is new. Um, it looks to be... A, probably how the box was originally sealed i mean it could have been glued now that i'm looking at it you know it kind of looks like maybe it was open at one time but i don't know 
Um, I'll probably just cut it open and see if it's new in there and then just sell it on eBay. Probably try to get 30 bucks for it. Uh, summer's over, so I don't know who, how many people are going to be looking for a water gun right now. So it might not sell until next year or next season, next warm season. I got these, I got three bags of Littlest Pet Shop stuff. Uh, I don't know anything about these, um, but I looked them up and uh, I've sold lots of them before. I got a lot at a garage sale once for $5 and sold it, I remember. Made pretty decent profit. Uh, so I decided just to go ahead. I don't even know if all these are official Littlest Pet Shops or what, but I just decided to take a chance. Good learning experience. Based on what I was looking at, there were some pets that sold for like four or five of them for $25. Now, they're probably older or rarer. I don't know what I got in here, but there's a lot of accessories. And if there's anything I know about toys, when you have the accessories, you typically get more money. So I'm just going to lot all of these together. They'll be easy to deal with. I'll just pour them out take pictures of a bunch of different ones and then just start the bidding I'll probably do auction on these and then if there's any rare ones people will spot them hopefully bid up buy them uh, but I think I'll just estimate low on these I think I'll make $20 profit in the end on those so not a bad pickup pretty easy to deal with plus it's a great learning experience so I can spot these and maybe learn a bit more about them so when I'm out in the future I'm going to come across them and I'll know how to deal with them here is the first load of the pallet gonna get that in there not gonna go through it today but I'll do that in another video probably do the unboxing in the morning or something so here's some stuff I picked up in Goodwill today got this puzzle here um, believe it or not this is a $60 puzzle on Amazon uh, probably will get around that you know it could be less but um, I'll just price it with the other people I, I did see that some sold um, in that price range so probably price it 50 60 dollars something like that see if it moves it's a thousand piece 50s puzzle i don't know if it's anything special uh but surprisingly i price these puzzles high because i see that they're selling high and they do sell high certain ones so we'll see we'll see so i should make about 30 dollars on that if i get the the price i want and then i picked up these columbia shorts um they're like for outdoors like water they're kind of like swim trunks um bought them just for extra like kayaking shorts uh they're brand new so i figured why not um color is a little weird but that's fine it's an extra pair of shorts great price brand new columbia's i don't know if they have any really good resale value or not but i also picked up uh, a couple tennis rackets i've been finding some decent ones this one is a prince series 110 $3.99 it's in good shape. I'll probably make about $15 profit on that after fees and shipping. Uh, then we got this one, which is, what was this one? Hyper Ion 3.0. This one looked pretty good. Didn't seem like there's a lot of competition for it. Uh, it's in pretty much unused condition. Uh, the grip's actually good on it and everything. Uh, I should make about a uh, minimum $20 on it, so... Even if I make, I might make $25. We'll just say I'll make $20 on it because I'll probably price it to sell. And um, so that's like $35 profit in rackets. They're pretty easy to ship and deal with. Uh, if you use the priority mail boxes, you can kind of Frankenstein them together um, if they don't fit in one. Uh, but don't use the flat rate priority mail. You can't alter those boxes. Just keep that in mind. It's a no-no. Decided to stop in Habitat for Humanity Restore. This is like a home improvement thrift store if you don't know what it is uh 50 off lights there the sign said and they usually have a color half off here's some tvs like old tube tvs free tv raffle um it's for the storm victims um i don't think anyone wants to win that tv most people are giving them away uh here's a table for 119 dollars you can get a lot of stuff for your house here and sometimes it's quite high in price uh, sometimes you find good deals I've definitely found some great money in here to flip, so I do like to stop in here once or twice um, every couple weeks or so. Uh, tools, I've, I've sold some chargers, I've sold um, uh, hand tools, I've sold sealed things, I got a bunch of doorknobs not too long ago, sprinkler stuff, all kinds of stuff I've sold, but today, nothing. Let's go over the rest of this stuff here real quick. I'll go through the vinyl. I'm not sure what each individual one is. I looked up a few of them. 
And there was some you know, $10, $15 ones in here. But uh, here's Boston. Got some Aerosmith. AC, DC, high voltage. Uh, this is a Led Zeppelin. I'm not sure what it was. I think two or three. David Lee Roth, Eat em and Smile. Uh, there's Led Zeppelin 3, so maybe that was Led Zeppelin 2, or some sort of Led Zeppelin, I don't remember. I believe I looked up this one, it, was, it wasn't it was too bad. Def Leppard, On Through the Night. Rolling Stones, Deep Purple, Made in Japan. I noticed a lot of Japanese version vinyls do sell pretty well. Black Sabbath, another Black Sabbath, Paranoid. These are in okay conditions, it's kind of dark in here right now. Uh, they're not the greatest condition. I don't remember what this one was. Um, there's another Led Zeppelin presence. Then this Kiss Dynasty. Pretty cool. So definitely things I would like to have if I was keeping vinyls, which I probably just end up keeping these. Um, but, you know, if I was to sell this a lot of, like, vintage rock albums, I don't know. I think I think you'd make about 40 bucks in the end profit. I could be estimating it a lot lower. I'm not sure. Either way, I think it's a pretty good pickup. Then I picked up these knives, which were a great pickup. Now these are, um, let's see, Mighty Oak by Imperial. And I decided to look them up, and they're worth quite a bit of money. Now the uh, meat cleaver, which I could not find, uh, one of them sold on eBay by itself for $66. Uh, this one, uh, I believe, sold for $35. And some of these other ones sold for like $30. I think these sold for about $30, $33. These, I'm not sure. Um, either way, they're really great pickups on these knives. I've seen actually the lot of this set, I believe, sold for $75 plus shipping. But I'm going to try to sell these. Probably price them at $29.99 a piece. Maybe that one, $35. And then um, just kind of sit on them so if someone's looking for one. It's, unfortunately, the meat cleaver wasn't there. That would have been a really good. But I think I'll make about $100 profit on just these knives after they all sell. They're all $1.99 a piece. Except for this $2.99 one, which is fine because it still sells for a lot. But anyway, uh, great pickups on those. Great pickups today. That's going to do it for the video, everybody. I got to work on the floor some more and try to get some eBay stuff listed that I bought. Um, I want to get because it expires. I don't want it just to be sitting here not for sale. But don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Till next time.